Oh, I go on, people. Hopefully, everything bless up, yeah? Welcome back to the channel, man. So, here we go on, see me? After the last video, me tell them the same one, give you some gameplay using the Blue Dragon. And me have a whole heap of message me saying, yo, boss, man, we not really too response for them new characters, yeah? you see me? I want to see what I go on with Sharon Rogers in our new uniform. That's what me really care about. That's my free to play queen, you dig? So, give us some gameplay. So right now for that video, yeah, that we are going to do, you know, we are going to do a little comparison between the new uniform and the old one, you see me? Now, I'm not really too care about the name for that uniform, you know, because it seems like them people here possessed. I don't know why they think it's a good idea to call the uniform a star knight armor, you see me? I say, like, I'm not welcome to them people here, Regin. But anyways, more than anything, I know right away a couple of you guys are wonder what the blood clot are going on, so why the beast sounds so different, Regin? <coughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, you dig? And for this one, man, we're going to be having some fun with Sharon Rogers. I have no idea who that fool is. I think he's on the wrong channel, man. But hear me out. Chef Beast Mode is back in the kitchen. And we're going to be cooking up some Sharon Rogers content for today's video. This is probably the, the sound you're used to, right? Yeah, that, that fool ain't never coming back. I don't know why he's here, but I... <laughs> Don't worry about him right now. So check it out, man. We're going to be doing a little bit of a comparison between this uniform right here and this one right here. What we did for this since I got her was actually take off the CTP of destruction that these guys had on her. No idea why they decided to give her destruction, right? Because she has super armor in her kit already, so she's not going to be guard broken in most cases in pve content but it is what it is it's a test build so i guess they don't really care what ctp they put on her but it is what it is what we're gonna do is see what the damage output looks like between this uniform and the old one because we know that with the heel this uniform is definitely a better choice right in addition to that right when you play her now in this uniform it's much easier to proc your skills efficiently especially since this skill has a delay on the hits so whereas before you would go immediately three cancel five cancel four or three cancel proc on five and then use your four now you can actually go three cancel five hold up a little bit let it play out then jump into your four and for the most part your proc is pretty much always going to be on the money. But for this video, we're not even going to worry about proc timing because we don't have any gear on her. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to see what the difference is in terms of damage output when we don't have to worry about landing like skills in the same order over and over and over and over again. So that being said, let's get right to it, man. Let's test her out against Cull Obsidian. I want to see just how much safer she is. And how much more damage we can get out of baby girl because even though it's a uniform that we didn't necessarily want or need it's here right now so why not get the most possible out of it right so we're gonna rock with this team right here just to make sure we don't get time frozen actually we cannot get time for yeah we can get time frozen <laughs> they have the cut time and they have the trap the time freeze you whatever it doesn't matter also comment down below if you guys have been liking having the game sound in the videos as opposed to um the sound that i usually put in like i usually just put in sounds based on how i feel all right and what's going on in the game but i actually have been liking going back to using the game sound a little bit right but if you guys want me to go back to mixing it up I can definitely do that. Like this, this new uniform is definitely much, much easier to proper because look at that. Look at how much time you have before the arrows start hitting and you can trigger her fifth skill from so much farther away. Like look, there's, there's so much time for you to get your proc on the money. It's going to be so much, so much better. I'm just basically going to do a one minute comparison here. One thing I have to figure out is, oh look, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. <laughs> Got a little bit, a little bit too ahead of myself because I was talking there. The only thing I have to figure out is um, if the arrows are actually doing any kind of physical 
damage and that's what we're gonna see here right It's been a long time since I've even heard this fool roar. Gotta make sure I don't get clipped. <laughs> Why are you targeting over there, bro? No! At least we didn't take any bleed damage. I said that. And I almost took bleed damage. Yo, this is a big difference. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got down to like almost 13 bars. Wow. This is actually a bigger difference than I thought. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be like almost a full two bars like worth of damage. Yeah, it's literally like, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're going to do that one more time. Because this uniform is at Mythic. The other one is not even at Mythic yet. <laughs> I got to see this, boys. I'm going to try to take a few more hits and see if that makes a difference. And this is why it's really good to test characters without custom gears because if I had a custom gear on one run and I was hitting the proc on the money every single time, right? And then I have another run where I'm not as effective, that can make things look better or worse for one uniform. Whereas right now I'm playing her exactly the same. And wow, well, 30 seconds passed. We're still not making any significant headway. Yo. Well, are we doing even less damage than last time? Wow. Okay. We did even less damage than last time. Hmm, okay. Let's actually swap the uniform and we're gonna do that again one more time. We need to see if this uniform is gonna do less damage on my second attempt at using it. Yeah, bro, this is doing way more damage, bro. The new fifth skill just does way more damage. Those <laughs> residual hits from the, the arrows, like, exploding or whatever. Yeah, bro, it's, 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 it's night and day. Dark Star, <laughs> yo, the Dark Star is officially obsolete. Yeah, safe to say this is gonna win every single time. Not saying the Dark Star armor is a bad uniform or nothing, right? Because it's clearly not. It's a good uniform, it's just that this one right here is offering more damage and better survivability. Okay, let's actually go over and try her against this fool. What we're gonna do here is, we don't need that. We'll go with some Ignore Dodge. We'll go with where is Ronin? Not potential, universal, fat fingers. Anyways, let's give give her Ronin. Let's give her Bullseye for that 50%. Actually, it's probably better to go with Ancient One instead of Ronin because Ancient One is gonna give 25%. That's gonna get us up to 75. And again, fat fingers. Where is, there we go, Ancient One. And then we'll put in somebody who's not gonna do a lot of damage like Misty Knight. And that should bring us up to 95%. That's going to bring us up to a, more than 100, but whatever. We want to have 
as much ignore dodge as possible without using a whole bunch of strikers because you know even if they're only doing peanuts for damage it's still it's <laughs> i'm saying it's still doing more damage than toy master <laughs> but it's you know it's not enough to throw off the comparison in my eyes but still oh what just happened there i got pulled out of my um i got pulled out of my uh four skill will it track oh nice it tr yeah this is a way better skill bro it tracks it tracks it will just follow wow yeah i'm sorry this uniform is definitely way better because it tracks the arrows will just follow even if they move well not even if they once it starts raining down i'm pretty sure it's not going to just start immediately moving but like if they move after you summon the arrows it will track i'm pretty sure she's just signaling to like fury or somebody from shield to just drop a whole bunch of exploding arrows i'm telling you this skill like this uniform as a whole should have got uh, one of the asgardian females like maybe hella maybe sif maybe angela you know what i'm saying Actually, why am I running away? Well, I... Not really... It doesn't really matter because... Hold up. It's not like I'm gonna use any of the other skills. Oh, really? He died some of my arrows. How dare you, you peasant. You mongrel. <laughs> okay, so he moved that... Ooh, I used that skill. My bad. Okay, so this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. And we used the one skill two times, so we'll we'll make up for that in the next run. We got cancelled. We used the one skill again there, so that's the third time using the one skill. So that took <laughs> that took a while. That took a while. So almost two minutes. A minute and fifty-three seconds there. We're gonna try and see what the other uniform can do. I don't know why I took her off the team. Okay, let's rock. Alright. Yeah, it's at least double the damage, bro. It's at least because this is how much damage I think I did the first rotation. have ooh, healing I guess I can tag at the point where um he goes into the center uh come here that's also the bad part about when you're using a character that doesn't have self healing right, you have to um play them more cautiously and that also makes them have a slower uh, clear time Okay, just gonna give her the heal there. Let's use one of those. Oh, bad idea. Can we? Ooh, nice, we got the third skill off. And I canceled a little bit too early there on the fifth, so that cost us a little bit of damage. See that beam shot right over his head. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's looking like it's gonna be a a solid uh, two bars at least. All right? Do we even need to finish this? I don't think we need to go any further than this. But we we could try and see, like, if it's gonna. <laughs> gonna take me more than a, an extra minute and I did use the one skill a couple of times Ooh, that was a bad time to use it teleport on me no no four skill did like no damage there 
well. So that was a solid like 30 seconds slower. And this uniform is a higher rank. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah, just wanted to do a little comparison for you guys between the uniforms for those of you guys who have this one already and you're thinking about buying this one. This one is a clear upgrade offensively and defensively. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's bittersweet because I'm happy that Sharon Rogers now has a heal, so it's gonna make her much safer. And Sharon Rogers is a free to play character, so everyone will always have access to her, right? So that's good. It's better than a paywall character getting another uniform, especially one that was not needed, because there's no point in having such a big roster if only the same 10 or 20 characters is constantly being used. That's just my two cents. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it was enjoyable and informative, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, I love you guys. Peace out.